Vanderbilt University's aerospace team annually participates in the NASA-sponsored Student Launch Initiative. This competition involves the construction of a rocket and launching equipment for that rocket. This year, the competition consists of not only a rocket, but robotic autonomous ground support equipment that is able to retrieve a small payload and deposit it into a payload bay enclosed within the rocket. In addition to the design and fabrication elements of this competition, the Vanderbilt team consistently involves itself in its community by participating at local schools and educating youth about rocketry, science, and engineering. In March of 2015, we participated in an outreach opportunity at Montgomery Bell Academy, demonstrating our autonomous ground support equipment. One of the key requirements for the AGSC is the fact that there can be no human interaction. It has to function completely autonomously. This is because the AGSC is expected to be on a foreign planet, Mars, where it is unlikely that we will have complete control of the hardware and software. What this also means is that we cannot rely on factors like the Earth's magnetic field, uh, GPS or RFID tracking. So what we decided on was to mount a camera beside the clipper of the AGSC. Now the AGSC starts uh, searching for objects. It may or may not find any object, but if it does find an object, we have to make sure that it is the sample that we need. If it is the sample that we need, then uh, this knowledge is translated to a form that the motors on the arm can understand and then the arm moves towards the sample um, constantly aided by the camera's vision uh, eventually reaches the sample picks up the sample with the gripper and then the arm has to orient itself uh, so that it reaches the payload bay of the rocket where it will orient the gripper to align with the payload bay and eventually drop the sample into the bay. All of this has to happen autonomously. What I have here is the camera feed as it's looking at a valid sample. The goal of image processing here is to detect this sample. Now we know that the sample is white and uh, that's what we're going to take advantage of here. So we apply a thresholding procedure on this grayscale image that filters out all the blues and grays and blacks from the camera feed. After a little post-processing to remove all the tiny noisy little specks, what we have left is a clear indicator on the position of the sample. We draw a bounding box around this sample and we receive knowledge on the center, the angle, the orientation, the length and the width of the sample that can all be taken advantage of when going towards the sample to pick it up. This is the prototype system which we have used to develop the AGSC. It is partly autonomous, which allows us to test and debug the low-level hardware interface code, the image processing code, and the high-level state functions and transitions. We have the state transitions be human-controlled so that the operator can ensure proper state transitions and verify the correct function of the state. Using this mixed-level autonomy, we can iterate towards a fully autonomous AGSC while ensuring reliability and safety for the AGSC and its components. The operator tells the AGSE what they want the AGSE to do, such as pick up the sample or go to the payload bay, etc. So for the first part, we have found the sample, as Pranav described, and so I tell the AGSE to grab the sample. Once it has grabbed the sample, I tell it that I want it to pick up the sample. Now that the AGSE has grabbed the sample, we must put it into the payload bay. However, our AGSE does not know where the payload bay is, and so it must find the payload bay. We have a marker on the rocket similar to a QR code which the AGSE can detect and identify. The detection of this marker allows the AGSE to determine the exact position and orientation of the payload bay. It searches for the payload bay and does not find it, so I tell it to keep searching. Now it finds the payload bay using the marker detection. Since it has found the payload bay, it instructs the payload bay to open in preparation for receiving the sample. While the payload bay is opening, I instruct the AGSE to also prepare for sample insertion, so it moves to the correct position above the payload bay. It can lower the gripper to the proper height to release the sample. Because the orientation of the payload bay is not the orientation of the AGSE's gripper, I instruct the AGSE to match the gripper's orientation to the payload bay's orientation to ensure proper sample alignment. After I instruct it to release the sample, 
It tells the payload bay to close while the AGSC moves to a safe location. Yeah, it's a little nerve-wracking sometimes when you let the machines take over. And so Kinda. that's where I go to tell it to open. And that's sample insertion, recovery and insertion.